During the 2015 annual meeting, an announcement was given that would affect Bethels around the world. The governing body has directed that a number of our branch and assembly hall construction projects worldwide be delayed, reduced in scope, or in some cases, canceled. The governing body had two clear objectives in mind with these changes. Firstly, that of making the best use of dedicated funds, but ultimately giving even greater emphasis on the preaching and the teaching work. In fact, here in Britain, we were on the brink of starting construction on a new branch office, and we really wondered how these simplifications would affect the construction projects. To understand why these changes were important, we first need to take a look at how Bethel's function. The field ministry is a fundamental part of our worship to Jehovah. Bethel's are there to support that work. Bethel's key departments provide tools and training needed to carry out the preaching work and support and defend our rights to do so. Some of these departments are service, audio video, local design and construction, translation, and legal to mention a few. In turn, none of these could function without the support of departments such as purchasing and accounting, computers, maintenance and kitchen, and home departments, which care for the welfare of the many volunteers working in Bethel. So any simplifications made to Bethel would ultimately benefit the activity in the field. Branch committees around the world were asked to reduce the size of their Bethel families. And this required us to rethink the way we work and the way we live at Bethel. Simplified meal arrangements has meant that Bethelites now prepare some of their own meals. Likewise, in many branches, they are responsible for caring for their own laundry. They now also look after their own housekeeping. Many more commuters and remote volunteers are being used to carry out work that previously would have required a permanent Bethelite. These and other changes have resulted in making better use of donated funds, but ultimately benefiting the preaching work. The Bethel family has really responded very well to these changes, and we can see how the direction given to us from the governing body is really benefiting our brothers and sisters in the field. And those who've been reassigned to the field are doing really well in their assignments. So how did this announcement affect the branch relocation project underway in Britain? When the announcement was made in 2015, plans were very well advanced. This meant that we needed to put the project on hold while new requirements for Bethel were evaluated. This effectively led to a redesign and a reduction in the scope of the project. For example, the Bethel kitchen and dining spaces became more compact as they were now largely preparing food for only one meal a day rather than three. There was no need for a central laundry as these would be cared for by the individuals in their own private accommodations. Rather than a large dining room that's only used for one hour a day or an auditorium only used one hour a week, now a large multi-purpose event space was planned which could be flexibly reconfigured for various uses. Offices could also be reconfigured either as private offices or as large open workspaces with relatively little reconstruction required. The governing body was very clear that as adaptive needs of the organization came about, they wanted to make these changes quickly we trust that the lessons learned from our project may aid in other branch projects to follow. In summary, we can see that Bethels around the world support the preaching and teaching work, and these changes are evidence of that. Well, at Philippians chapter 1, verse 10, we're told to make sure of the more important thing. We desire to give priority to those activities that contribute the most to the spiritual welfare of God's people and the advancement of the global preaching work.